Hi, in this video I will show you a small example how you may get your uh, user ID from an uh, Angular client uh, and they're from the uh, ASP.NET Core um, uh, server where there is the, I, uh, the identity uh, behind there. So what we see here is my Angular client uh, and inside the Angular client, I always want to check if my value of my uh, of my user, the user ID, um, I want to check if I am the owner of an article which I have written. So, I therefore I have to look the value up, and I want to show you the, uh, a way how you may get the uh, the user GUID. So this is the a long number, which is uh, your ID on the identity server. Uh, and with, with this ID, you may be able to uh, to check if you if something is uh, your own. It's a default uh, stuff. So how may I do that? Uh, therefore, we have to uh, I have to show that in my uh, in my Angular application. Um, I have written a small method uh, function where I say get the user ID uh, and this one is as an observable uh, and by the way uh, I have written the code on my website and you will find all the website the code from there and you may take it to your own application so uh, what we need there uh, is on the client side a small uh, function where we uh, ask the user ID from uh, the server, from the web API. So we have here the client and we have also the server. This is the uh, my server, the uh, Ang Angular ASP server. And inside there, there is the local client or the client which is bound to the API. Okay, now I show you the way. First, we say here, uh, get user ID as a GUID, as observable, uh, and from there a string. So the result will be something like this. User ID uh, is a GUID number. And therefore we say uh, this method, uh, double point uh, observables uh, of type string. And then we say return from the HTTP um, from this HTTP, this this is uh, my article service. Uh, from there we say dot get HTTP dot get, and then uh, this is an observable, an asynchronous function. So we say of type or the of uh, of a structure of a, a type structure structure and. In this case, I said, okay, uh, my type structure is a user user ID GUID. So this is the string which comes back, and this the structure is user ID, and uh, and then the number. So I say user ID of structure, and then it say um, get this get a value of this uh, structure, and then the method is uh, I'm. HTTP get call uh, the URL is in, inside here. So this is my my web API, my the API which goes there. So this is uh, my front end API front slash get user ID, and then I say <clears throat> then we have to say pipe. Pipe means um, uh, do some math uh, mathematics behind uh, our as soon as you have get the result uh, of the web requ request, we need a, a further mathematics. And then we say pipe and inside pipe we say map. And map does uh, the following. It takes the first um, filter. It's not a filter. It's a, It translates the user ID to user ID and then uh, and then we say return. So return is uh, give everything out. So when I call that point and I'm loading the data, loading the data, 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 and then inside there we have a observable uh, and the observable is uh, we subscribe it. 
Then I say I do some mathematics because uh, after this I say response goes to and then I may take some code as soon as the data are loaded. I say this uh, this local um, do the local method or local function call the local func function after this uh, map the data uh, and do the in initialization and so on and then I say load the user ID uh, as soon as the first stuff is done and then I say uh, I'm loading the data and from there I say call my data service so this is my data service uh, and there the method uh, get user ID and then subscribe response goes to the method uh, goes to a, a block a coding block and there I say um, the local user ID take this one from the response is the user ID and this one will be only that number okay this is now uh, my stuff and I will show it now in a debug mode and first before we go this one we have to say on the server side on the server side we need a method which says okay um, I need this one as a authorize on my this is my controller this is my controller here controller article controller and inside there I say I make one method which is called uh, authorize or authorize uh, the breakpoint will only uh, whenever you open this call this API it will go only root only to this method when uh, you are authorized when you're logged in and as soon as you have logged in so I have the root and then I have HTTP get uh, so this is a H it's only a get method and then I say this is my stuff and they say a public async task async result as a give me a string as a result but it's always uh, as a JSON string and then I say string user ID, user ID good is this one from get user ID and then I say the result will be a new JSON result Re JSON result is always um, a text on the left side or a, a value user ID equals so this is the user ID equals and then there's a string so this is uh, what we have seen on the other block so it's a user ID uh, equals dash dash uh, apostrophes apostrophes and then the number now finally the last step is <coughs> I ask here the user so this is user get user ID where is this one so uh, you see there's no user here at the, at the block I would say here go to the definition and inside there I made a small user information method and I said okay there get user ID and we give this one this principle user claims principle user and by by doing this and implementing the user system security claims we automatically give have the user which comes in so this is uh, by dependency injection uh, and it it will be there as soon as it's uh, as soon as you're logged in and then you say uh, current user the current user is the user which is uh, dropped in current user dot first find claim type name identifier name identifiers this uh, GUID and from there the value return return drops out to this one and then uh, when you say user this one goes on there then you have all what you need um, now I make a I'm show you how it works we go now we refresh our method um, yeah and we go here to a breakpoint uh, here go this one I jump in there I say okay this is my user ID and when I push the loading button now then my site jumps to this uh, to where is it here I come to it jumps to the articles controller and in the articles controller there is now this uh, get user ID as I explained 
And now you see this number, this strange number inside this one. This is a, a GUID string. Whenever you create a login or register in a identity server, you will get a long GUID, a special one. Um, and whenever you have done this, it will respond or give the uh, action result to the client. So when I push that out now, then we come here to this point and then we come to the console again so do it again now it jumps on that point and now you see the response in the load user id is my guid and that's all what what i've written here in my documentation and whenever you're writing an uh, angular or react application with TypeScript as client uh, and go to your ASP identity server within there, then you may use this method to or this function to get your ID and then compare it uh, or do some login or something like this.